think Susie's hissy fits were bad until I saw the real thing. Mm, quiet. Too quiet. Hi <laughs> Whoa! Take no prisoners! Woohoo! I'm running and shooting! Whoa! Whoa! Too slow! Say hello to my little friend! Heads up, Sawyer! Oops. <laughs> Mindy will clean that up. Creep up? What's that? It's a site I joined to connect with my old school chums. <sighs> Everyone's so successful. Forget them. You just need to spice up your profile. Instead of lives at a camp, go with resides on a palatial estate with own personal chef. Self-made man and handy. Ooh, I had no idea I was so cool. And now for a little digital magic on your photo. And voila! Your new profile is posted. <gasps> My first shriek! It's from Anna Mamba. She says she was in the back of my unnatural science class. Way to go, Sawyer! Thanks, but it's funny. I don't remember her. <coughs> Anna Mamba's coming to visit. <coughs> when she sees me, she'll know I faked my profile. Pull yourself together, zombie! It's not fake if we make it true. Zombie, zombie makeover! <gasps> Undead edition. You look so spiffy. Okay, Campbells, say Gorgonzola. Stinky! Remember, just be cool. Don't lose your head. Don't worry, McGee. I got spares. Hey, McGoof, check out my new. Oh, wait. Oh, wrong way. Hey, it's R for reverse or for roll. How do you work this? Oh, here we go. Jealous McGoof. Oh. <laughs> Not exactly the welcome I was expecting. <laughs> So beautiful. And smells good, too. Scent is so important. Uh, <laughs> thanks. So, uh, after all these years. Don't remember her at all. Why would you? I was so shy and uncomfortable in my own skin. And you were such a dreamboat. <laughs> I couldn't help but have a crush on you. Anamamba, allow me to help you with your bags. Ah! Oh, probably should have turned that off. Sire, why don't you show me around your estate? My estate? Oh, right. <laughs> so, um, here's a rock. <laughs> Welcome to Bistro Lake Bottom, Garkon. Freshly squeezed essence to skunk with extra stink for the love birds. <laughs> <laughs> pungent. S Sawyer, sweet talker. Uh, pungent. Yeah, like your perfume. Your skin is so soft, and and, and your eyes are so flippy. Oh, Sawyer, I could just squeeze you. Who's hungry? Roast vulture with black fly gravy, prepared by Sawyer's personal chef. Mm, sounds scrumptious. Oh, Rosebud, you've really outdone yourself. <laughs> I like a gal with an appetite. I got a buttload of love for Anna Mamba. Get out of here, bud breath. Not until Anna knows how I feel, McTrue love hater. No. Stay calm. Yeah! Well, now you know the truth. I'm not rich or successful. And I don't have a cool guy pompadour. I'm just a run-of-the-mill zombie camp handyman. Sawyer, I think you're swell just the way you are. Really? 
Wow, you really... Oh. <laughs> Take my... <laughs> right away! Oh, I love snuggling by the fire. Oh. Doesn't it warm your heart to see two people so much in love? This is for you, Anna! Seriously, does Butt Squat ever give up? Poor dear, just can't believe my heart belongs to another. Excuse me while I let him down easy. A poem from my heart to yours. <clears throat> Remember, it's a first draft, still smoothing out the kinks. Anna Mamba, when I first saw you, my heart went quakey. Every ounce of my love is yours to takey. If you don't love me back, my heart will break. <gasps> On the other hand, uh, I need my, uh, my space. It's not me. It's definitely you. Ah! <laughs> Poor Bud Squad. He sounds pretty busted up about Anna. Well, she is pretty special. That's why I'm gonna propose to her today. What? I call bridesmaid. Uh, isn't this a little fast? Uh, yeah, Sawyer. You sure that Anna wants a future with you? Sure, I'm sure. Why else would she ask me to install temperature controls in my cabin? She likes it hot. <laughs> Catch you later. Temperature controls? Yeah. Who needs heating in the summer? Hmm. Time for me to meddle in on Mamba. Meanwhile, I'll get Armand and Rosebud to press pause on this proposal. <gasps> and I'll find a box of tissues. Uh, I always cry at weddings. Every time. Huh? Hmm. <gasps> Tongue, eggs, snake, her baby's got a worn Sawyer! Sawyer's going to ask Anna to marry him? <gasps> I hear wedding bells! Well, that's wonderful! You don't understand! She's a... <laughs> Anna's a snake lady laying her eggs in Sawyer's cabin. Yeah. Oh, we've got a worn Sawyer! I love eggs! Huh. Eggs! Guys, I'll catch up later! Anna, this ring and this finger belonged to my Gram Gram. And now they're yours. Will you marry me? Why, of course. Not. <laughs> now I remember you. You were in the back of my unnatural science class. You were too cool to even look at me then. But now you're supper. <laughs> Too late! Wedding's canceled, campers. Uh, Anna and I have some issues to work out. But you're just in time for dessert. Anna Mamba, <sighs> I've got a crush on you! <laughs> Love really does hurt. You won't get away that easy, Sire. Yeah. Anyone lose one of these? Uh-oh. Looks like I'm just in time for lunch. <laughs> oh, and Butt Squat's the appetizer. Well, no accounting for taste. <laughs> My hungry snakelings have found something to nibble on. Yeah, you know, I don't mean to be rude. I just don't think there's enough of me for everyone. So, should we just order a pizza? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your party pack. I love party packs. <laughs> But you said you weren't Sawyer! Sawyer was useful. He installed temperature controls to keep my snakelings toasty. Soon, Camp Lake Bottom will be Camp Snake Bottom. Not today, Mamba! Uh, maybe today. Please, Anna. You can crush my heart all you want, but no one messes with my campers! <laughs> no! Turn up the heat! Cold makes my babies and me so sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> Happy hibernating! Time to ship on the Mamba and her slimy serpent kids back home! No way! You're back on Creepbook? Yep, just connected with another old friend. Ah! Humongazor! Ah, don't remember him at all. Today, we took a 
canoe out for a little spin. in case of rhino chicken stand. Oh, Should've checked the animal traffic report. Hey! How many times do I have to tell you guys not to borrow my clothes? Aww, I can't stay mad at you. Ah, who has time for mad when you're hungry? Let's get some breakfast. Oh, sorry, McGee! Give the head to the body, monkey. <laughs> Interception! <laughs> and McGee makes the pass to Sawyer. Out, out. Not sure this is better. <laughs> Sorry, Sawyer. Oh. Out, out. Back to the nether regions where you belong. <laughs> Enjoy. Aww. You hope you don't mind. We started breakfast without you. <sighs> <laughs> Sit without getting a butt full of quills and a nose full of stink? Yeah! <laughs> this is supposed to be a totally terrifying monster camp, not a totally annoying zoo. <gasps> Sorry I lost my temper. Sometimes your furry friends and I don't see things eye to eye, and that's okay. <laughs> because no matter how many shirts they burn from my body, I have a place for them right here. <laughs> Jerry, how did you get in there? I don't know. Yeah, but I don't want to know. The point is, I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Am I right, guys? Yes! <gasps> no! My comics! Uh -oh. <laughs> 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 I know this looks bad, but... But nothing! I've had enough of this furry freak show! Well, some of these freaks have feathers and scales, you know! And I'm pretty sure they didn't mean to! I don't want to hear it! From now on, no more animals in this cabin! McGee, you might want to rethink that. My best friend wouldn't make me choose between him and my animals. Huh, well, then maybe you and me are... <gasps> are you saying what I think you're saying? I'm saying that this is... <gasps> In that case, goodbye, former friend. Come on, guys. We'll start our own camp upriver, where humans and freaks can have comic book fires in peace and harmony. <gasps> Squirt! No monkeys allowed! What? Squirt, wait! I was only kidding. <gasps> uh. Slimy, don't you go too. Aw, smooth move, McGee. <sighs> uh, where's Squirt going? I don't know what happened, but I'm guessing it was all your fault. Relax. Squirt and I may have had a little disagreement, but they'll be back as soon as they get hungry. <laughs> well, that might not be for a while. What have? Squirt brought this on himself. Now, who's for an exciting game of Go Fish? How about an exciting game of Go Get Your Friend? Why? He made his choice, and these feet are not moving from this spot. Ah! My Arachnoman number one is still in mint condition. Follow that comic. No, 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 not Arachnoman. Phew. It's just my fridge magnet man number 17, <laughs> and I got three of those. Oh, what a relief. Ah! But I've only got two hands. Just paddle. Ah! 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 It looks like we lost him, thanks to my power paddling. I think 
it was less about the paddling and more about that? <laughs> Me too. You never looked so good. Come on, we'll just tell Squirt we happen to be in the neighborhood. Wow! Check it out. Squirt sure knows how to make an impression. Not bad. Guy's been away for a couple of hours too. Imagine what he'd do with a week. <laughs> to treat guests. I am Colonel Squirts, King of Squirtopia. In my land, there is but one rule. No McGee's allowed. And Sunday shall only be eaten on Tuesdays, so really that's two rules. But the most important one is no McGee's allowed. Uh, um, McGee? Um. Oh, right! It's Thursday. <laughs> Leave, Scortopia McGee, before things start to get crazy. Start to get crazy? Maybe we should go get help. No way! Not without my comic! You mean... Colonel Squirtz's comic. Bingo! That's the one! Come on, Gretch! Let's fly! Sounds like a plan! <laughs> Trying to take you home! This is my home! Frida! <laughs> <gasps> what now, smart guy? <gasps> ah, to the coffin! After them, those bottom dwellers must pay for their insolence! Plus, I haven't finished reading that comic. It contains valuable lessons on friendship. Untie the boat, Gretch! Untie, untie! Squirtopians are coming! More attention to where I'm paddling. Whoa! We're going down the drain! <laughs> Stay back, Squirt! Go back! Never! Keep paddling for Squirtopia! Oh, Squirt's too far gone to listen. You know, he's a lot like you. That's not true. I'm making completely rational decisions. Now, let's paddle into the whirlpool! What? No! Trust me, when I risk harming a limited edition first issue, you got a point. You're not getting away! McGee! Just paddle, Gretch. Never escape, Colonel Squirts. Right now, we've got bigger problems. <laughs> Hermione, Herman, Francis, Sigmund, Bath, Cupcake, Sticky, and Sticky. I'm coming! Squirt, no! It's too dangerous! I don't care. They're my friends. <laughs> if they're your friends, that makes them my friends, too. Don't worry, buddy. I'll save them. <sighs> Not your arachno man number one. Squirt? There's only two number ones in my life, Gretchen and you! Never fear! McGee the animal lover is here! Grab hold, fellas. <laughs> Sorry about your comic, McGee. Yeah, that was a big sacrifice, best friend. Hey, no worries, buddy. It's still totally readable. Story time! In the first panel, we meet Arachnoman, a superhero who will do anything for his friends. And his friends' friends, too. Ew! If I'm gonna be enveloped in a stinky fart cloud, I'm glad it's with my best friend. Uh, thanks? thanks? Dear 
mom. Don't worry about me here at Camp Lake Bottom. Something's always keeping an eye on us. Hello, and welcome to How Not to Maintain a Lawnmower. Lesson number one. Never fill your lawnmower with jet fuel. <laughs> Lesson number two. Never start your mower with your teeth. That leads us to lesson three. Never clean your mower with your tongue. With your tongue. <laughs> yes, I do all my own stunts. <sighs> I did not see that coming. Squirt, you've seen this 900 times. The classics never get old. Be sure to catch my next film, How Not to Hand Feed Piranhas. Oh, I give it two thumbs down. And I wish I had more thumbs. For the love of cinema! Please, please show us the piranha film next time. I'd love to, but I would have run out of hands before I finished it. If only I could show my magnum opus. No way. Armand, you made a movie? Correction. A masterpiece. But I shan't bore you with the details. As long as there's no lawnmower. Don't listen to the haters, Petunia. There's a girl. It was the tale of a brilliant but ill-fated Sasquatch scientist turned radioactive in a freak lab accident. I called it the Abominable Dr. Sasquatch. <laughs> An ill-fated radioactive Sasquatch freak scientist doctor? Now that's a movie! Please show it! Please, 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 please! Alas, it was shredded by my resentful crew. Those wretches envied my boundless talent. <laughs> Armand, for the sake of Lake Bottom movie night, the abominable Dr. Sasquatch shall rise again! I'm in. <laughs> Two thumbs up! The critics love me already. Places, people! Sound! Special effects and props. Okay. Wardrobe! Hold on, baby! Director and star on set. We're ready for you, Mr. Director. We'll see about that. Roll camera and action! <laughs> <laughs> they called me bad, but they will rue the day they laughed at Dr. Sasquatch! <laughs> <laughs> He's changing me! No! Master! I am struck down by your radioactive touch! Oh, Fortune! Why have you cursed me to become an atomic monster? And cut. Got it! <laughs> he just wanted revenge on his enemies. <laughs> Rosebud, darling, you were... Uh... Yes, Mr. Director. Dreadful. McGee, you didn't shoot my good side. You call this radioactive ooze. I've said it a thousand times. No gooberry jam on my set. <laughs> wow, melting's a new one for me. I can't work with these amateurs. Yeah, we're the amateurs. No! Atomic Monster! You know what? You're right, Armand. This movie's got to be so epic, audiences will snort out of their eyeballs. I expect no less. If you need me, I'll be in my dressing room getting my ego massaged and manicured. What? It slipped. You call this a swamp? Where are the pus geysers, the mucus moles? Why am I the only one committed to quality on this production? That's it. I'm walking. Yeah, me too. I love walking. Guys, guys, Armand is a creative genius. He can't help being all creative geniusy. But if we help make this film, his talent will be set free. And we'll get to watch a new movie without lawnmowers in it. It's a win-win. Uh, I hate it when he makes sense. Well, what do you think? Creepy, dank, and slimy. It's got it all. Hmm. Does have a certain gloom. And I suppose this egg could be the ancient orb that cures Dr. Squatch. You know, it's perfect! All right, people, magic time! Yes, 
My genius has finally inspired you people to jump off the amateur train. Oh, I'm inspired, all right. I got your gooberry right here. Enough! Roll camera! And action! Melt! <laughs> Melt! <laughs> gooberry again. Cut! You have ruined my chance at a Best Bad Scientist Actor nomination. Your cheap special effects are... Fantastic! Now that's what I call movie magic. But I didn't make... You heard the Sasquatch. Roll camera. What a strange twist of fate to be this high. Is it a sign from the heavens? Would this to be my redemption? Whoa. Is there a draft in here? No great ancient orb. Cure me with your mystical powers. Only you can remove my radioactive curse. <laughs> now this is a movie. And not a lawnmower in sight. Ah, McGee! Uh, that thing is real. I know. It's your realest special effect yet. Break time! Union rules! Um, I knew that. <laughs> I was brilliant. Let's go again. Reset the cave. Seriously, Armand? I didn't do that. Yes, Gretchen. I'm well aware you couldn't have done it without my genius inspiring you. Now, let's take it from the top. Ancient orb, why do you pursue me so? Seriously, I want to know from one monster to another. <laughs> That's not the answer I expected. Mickey, listen, that I think he is really trying to kill us. Yeah, Gretch, I get it. It's right here on page 10 of the script. <laughs> when you said really trying to kill us, you meant really trying to kill us. <laughs> As horrified as I am, I still think if this film sees movie night, it's worth getting a little bit singed. Ah! Yeah! Oh, oh, what a pro! Armand, the camera loves you as much as that I hates you. Gretchen, <laughs> perhaps tone down the special effects. Okay, that eye is no special effect. It's real! Ah! No, that's not in the script. That's what I've been trying to tell you. We're improvising. Roll with it. Ancient Orb, are you here to save me and destroy me all in the same day? No! That does it! This is me, watching you, watch me take you down! Aye! Uh, cut! Cut! Cut, people! Time to cut! No, 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 we can't cut now, Armand! Think of the movie! The Adoration! All right, huddle up, guys, I have a plan. Just make a few changes to the ending, and I... Whatever you're going to do, do it! I'm up to my eyeballs and eyeballs over here! Okay, okay, you got it, Rosebud. Kill the mower! And what was lesson one, Sawyer? Never fill your yawn mower with jet fuel. Perfection! Armand, Rosebud, go before it recharges! Time to close this eye for good! See ya! Get up! Our villain struggles to focus, confused. Kill the gooberry! Gooberry is in the eye of the beholder! Work, everybody. This moment of glory belongs to my selfless crew. Because of you, the abominable Dr. Sasquatch will be the greatest movie ever to grace the silver screen. <laughs> what? I said. And that's a wrap. It most certainly is. <laughs> my masterwork. <laughs> Ruined. Oh, I wish we were filming this. They're my most realistic tears yet. <laughs> Lesson number one, never fill a lawnmower with jet fuel. Lesson number two. Shh, come on. Let's get out of here while it's still asleep. Oh, come on, no, I'll never know how it ends. Sorry about your movie, Armand. Oh, who cares about some silly movie? It's nothing compared to my true destiny. Completing my unfinished symphony, a Sasquatch Rhapsody in Fur Minor. <laughs> Mom, lately 
I've been itching for a pet of my own. <laughs> On second thought, scratch that. I call this yoga position serpent spreads its toes. Feel the stretch. Cyclops devours spine. Focus your inner squatch. Now hold. Uh, I have an itch. Remain still. Must resist urge to scratch. Guys, your bad vibrations are harshing my inner squatch. Uh. Loving these new poses. What do you call them? Centipede wedgie? Inside out wombat? More like downward mm. dachshund with fleas. That kind of scratching can only mean one thing. The lake bottom louses have returned. The lake bottom what now? Lake bottom lousy. A breed of blood sucking bugkin so heinous, few survive. Okay, everyone survives. They just wish they didn't. See for yourself. It's like a bitey head massage. Ah! Gotta go! Luxurious Sasquatch Burr is an all you can eat buffet for those mini monsters! Lousy's ruined my little miss kick butt pageant. And the winner is. Grant! <gasps> Lousy's! No crown for you! Lousy's! I can't stand their tiny guts! But where'd they come from? Oh, howdy, campers! The sauce! He's lousy as lousies! Oh, just because I brought an army of lousies to Lake Bottom doesn't make me the sauce. Oh, wait, yes, it does. Lousies, meet the Gretchenator! <laughs> right, I used the last of the lousy be dead on my sock drawer. <sighs> Not a problem. I've got the stuff that really packs a punch. It's time for Lake Bottom Lockdown. Come with me. I'll call you Warren. Who's the bug that likes the bug? That's just the bug. It's Warren. <laughs> Let's hustle, guys. Rosebud said everything goes. Ah, this bites. How are we supposed to have fun with all our stuff's in trash bags for 12 hours? I'll tell you what's fun. Burn everything that has lousies in it. They make a lovely popping sound, like popcorn. Hi, Armand. What are you doing in there? Cowering, if you must know. But now I seem to be in Lousy Central. <laughs> Kindly inform me when they're all dead, deceased, and defunct. No! Don't listen to him, Warren. Who's Warren? Ah, uh, nobody. I, I, I mean nobody. Squirt, are you hiding something? I, um, um, oh, all right, I'm hiding a lousy. Best Bug Warren, meet Best Bug McGee! Help! Please, McGee! You gotta help me hide him from... The Gretchenator. I don't know. Lousies are kind of... Please, Pecky. Pretty please. Please! Okay, I guess one little lousy can't hurt. I'll distract Gretch while you hide Warren. Hey! Who's up for a garbage bag belly flop? Uh-uh. No flopping until the job is finished. What you doing, Squirt? I'm not hiding anything. Who said anything about hiding? Squirt, here's a big book someone could get lost in. Pecky, you're the best two-legged pal a six-legged pal could have. Shh. The Dummy's Guide to Raising the Dead. Hmm, sounds like fun. Keep packing. Story time's later, guys. <laughs> get ready for your delousing. <laughs> 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 Well, that wasn't so bad. Ah! It burns! Uh, my no-fail hot sauce and vinegar bath. A real one-two lousy punch. Warren! Come on, let's clear these ex crawlies out of here. Warren! <gasps> oh, thank goodness you're safe. Did someone say safe? Hello? Well, Rosebud and I sprayed the camp, and not one single lousy remains. <laughs> yeah, not one left. Did you just scratch? <laughs> scratch? Who oh, me, never. <laughs> New yoga moves. See? Fly trap tickles panda. Uh, naughty bear marine. Yeah! <laughs> oh, uh, don't mind me. I'm, I'm just listening to Ant. The breadcrumb was how big? Lousies! Sorry, Squirt, but this is for the good of all scout time. Run for it! 
Let's go hurry. Squirt. Yeah, I usually remember Hat Day. Hey, Squirt. Need some company? Sure. Sure thing. <laughs> then why are you shaking your head? Um, uh, uh, because I like to listen to my brain swish around. You okay? You don't look so good. <laughs> Quit tugging me. I, I, I mean, uh, bugging me. <laughs> just, I, just, just leave me alone. Was that weird? Yeah, that was weird. Save a little blood for me, okay? Aardvark eats platypus. Scorpion pillow fight. Yeah. Give that up. You man. want Armand? Nuh-uh, that was not part of the deal. Ow, ow! That's so hard, Warren. Squirt! Wait, wait up! Yow! I, I, I mean, uh, yee-haw-ha! It's 10-gallon hot day! <laughs> Seriously, Squirt, are you okay? <laughs> You think I raised my lousy friend from the dead and, and now he has an unquenchable thirst for blood? <laughs> Don't make me laugh! <laughs> uh. Ah! <sighs> lousy! <laughs> Warren! Warren! Supercharged Sasquatch blood! The sweet treat lousies can't resist! That bug's starting to bug me. Serious bug foo! Oh, sure. Drain the Sasquatch dry, then throw him out with the trash. Ali Cody, Baba Ganoush, Skinko Catrino, I'll just be over here. Five, six, seven million lousies to three. There's only room for one undead thing around here. Me! Zombie, lousies, immune bug juice. Howie, Warren, please stop. Squirt must undo spell. Too heavy, can't reach. Yes, you can. Focus your inner squatch. Focus my inner squatch? Cyclops devour spine! <laughs> Latrino stinko! Aga get lostio! Goodbye, Warren. You couldn't help being a behemoth blood sucking monster. <laughs> hey, little chicky. Careful, Skavert. Chicken poxies are highly contagious. Can I keep them? Ah, uh, uh, what harm could one little chicken boxy do? <laughs> Dear Mom, you could say I'm pretty 
popular at camp. Everyone wants a piece of me. Look out, gotta go. Last one to the bathroom smells like a rotten egg. Ladies first, Mick Holden in. Excuse me, emergency gangway. <laughs> is a notorious biter of bottoms. And triple ply. So long, toilet paper. You are my butt's best friend. There you go, camper. Super absorbent muggly moss. Your butt will be in butt heaven. Thanks, Sawyer. I was afraid I'd have to get handy. Wow! Where'd you learn all that? In Zombie Scouts. I always wanted to be a zombie scout leader. Just like my mom. <sighs> but she said I wasn't ready. Well, you could be our zombie scout leader. <gasps> really? Yeah, we'd be wicked zombies. Brains! I'm in. In a second. Zombie scouts, inspection time! You call those uniforms? Where's the filth? The bite marks! Now you look like zombie scouts. Sir, yes, sir! First lesson, smoke signals. This one tells other zombies, mess with my brains, and you're dead to me. Whoa, 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 check it out. Smoke jokes. Hey, what do zombies wear when it rains? Raincoats. <laughs> Actually, you just said, attention, all zombies, free brains. If there were zombies around, you'd be in deep undead doo doo. If you lily-livered humans want to be zombie scouts, you gotta smell like zombies. Now get stanky! Sir, yes, sir! <laughs> the swamp is extra ripe today. Oh, so am I. Instant stankification! <laughs> Pretty sure it's not us. Yeah, right, fakers. Oh, no! I got you, Gretchen! I got you, Squirt! Brains! Mom? Sawyer? My baby! I saw smoke signals and thought I'd pick up a snack! What are you wearing? <clears throat> it's his scout leader uniform, and we're his zombie scouts. Brains! <laughs> Some zombie scout. <laughs> Your parts don't even come off. Mama better tag along. Right, son? Okay, but you gotta promise. No brains. Scout's honor. Now let's get grown in. No, Mom. We're gonna lurch next. She promised to give up brains, but she did not mention intestines. Yeah, this could be a bad idea. Look, the only thing on the menu is helping Sawyer impress his mom. Besides, what's one extra zombie? Brains! Come on! Punch those backs! Sack those jaws! What is the point of lurching without groaning? You call that a groan? This is a groan. Mom! You don't want him to summon a subvulture! Exactly, Camper. Well, if they did, then they'd learn to fight it off like proper zombie scout. Yeah, you don't want to eat me. My flesh is too tender and supple. Yeah. Oh. What to do? What to do? <laughs> there, see? Those are zombies. Mother, I can do this myself. Okay, Scouts, next challenge. Let's hope the next challenge isn't so challenging. Oh. Guys, relax. What could one zombie do? Uh. Huh? Wait up! Uh, what's with the blindfolds? Zombies have to put themselves together even when their eyes fall out. Let's see how you do putting this pile of severed and mangled body parts together. Blindfolded. Stop coddling these scouts and give them a real test. Before you can put your parts back together, you have to find them first. Now get scavenging. <laughs> I found a head. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, Gretchen leads by a leg. Uh, oh, this will come in handy.
Uh, super job, Scouts. Moving on. Don't say a word. Thanks for the help, Digger. I saw that. How can you be zombie scouts if you can't dig your own grave? <laughs> Digging's easy. Digging out is a test fit for a zombie. Mm-hmm. Undig my campers and stop poking your nose in my troop. This rotting nose knows where it's not wanted. <laughs> Mom, wait. It's just a rig of mortars talking. Mom, come back, please. Uh, Sawyer, <laughs> aren't you forgetting something? <laughs> He'll be right back. Anyone know any head games? I spy with my little eye something that is... Zombies! <laughs> Shamble off like that. Well, now that you're a big zombie with your own back, you don't need me. <laughs> well, I'll always need ya, but I gotta live my own afterlife. <laughs> <gasps> We're surrounded. We have no place to hide. Then let's hide in the open. Cause it's time. Let's get to higher ground. <laughs> Zombie <laughs> apocalypse! And right now, the most important thing is my... Sawyer! Campers! Get your undead paws off of my scouts! Ow! That's it! We're zombie toast! Who wants brains? Juicy, dripping, and fresh! Uh, oh, good! <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Thanks for helping, but you promised no brains. I get my promise. That's a tofu turkey brain. The vegan brain substitute. <laughs> what do we do? Zombie Scouts, you were trained by the best and his mom. Now kick some zombie butts. We'll help you in a jiffy. Sawyer, dear, you've got your hand on backwards. Oh, Mom, I can assemble myself. Sir, yes, sir! Guys! These things fight dirty. Zombie scouts don't need eyeballs. Use your sniffer, scout. Gotcha! <laughs> ha! Smell you coming a mile away. <laughs> Like an armadillo going down. <laughs> hey, McGee, catch! <laughs> That's right. I'm armed and dangerous. <laughs> Here's a hat trick for you. <laughs> Sleep. That's crazy talk, mister. Then how come I just found the perfect book in the outhouse? Look, the boogeyman's back. <laughs> <laughs> huh. 
What do you know? It worked. Don't you dare read to the end of this book or you'll free the boogeyman. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, yeah. That book used to scare the diapers off me. Hmm. I'd say it's about a zero on the scarometer. You can fly a balloon in the sky so blue, but the boogeyman will still get you. You can run to the lake and paddle a canoe, but the boogeyman will still get you. Hmm, didn't see that coming. I don't want to hear this! I'm not listening! I'm so not listening! La, 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 la. Gee, Gretchen, I wonder how this book ends. You're not supposed to read the end, or you'll free the boogeyman! Aren't you listening? He'll throw you in a pot and stir up a stew. The boogeyman will get you and all your friends, too. And the end. See? No boogeyman. Congrats, Squirt. You faced your fear head on. More like head down and under the covers, but close enough. You should have this, pal, because like I always say, face your fear and your fear will disappear. <laughs> Just a sticky hunt, Squirt. But uh, is that book still freaking you out? Me? Nah, I I'm totally. Ah! Ah! The boogeyman! <laughs> The bookie man. <laughs> this is just last night's leftovers. Come on, Squirt. You gotta get over this. Yeah, but there's just no such thing as the boogeyman. I guess you're right. But if it's all the same to you, I'll just hide under here for a while. Well, don't hide too long. It's time for dance class. Let's boogie the boogeyman blew the way. <laughs> Oh, jeez, that kid's got to get a hold of himself. He's built like a freight train, but he's afraid of the boogeyman. <laughs> the boogeyman! <laughs> Remember, Candles, dance expresses your innermost feelings. Whoa! What are you expressing, Squirt? I think you'd call it fear. Also anxiety, dread, and full-on terror. I don't know. I, we kind of freaked him out by reading the boogeyman's back last night. Relax, buddy. It's only a... Ah! The most terrifying children's book of all! <laughs> wow, that is hard to say with a straight face. Not helping, Armand. Come on, Squirt. If I weren't so terrified, I'd say, Wee! <laughs> well, I suppose dance class is cancelled. Time for chocolate slugs, huh? Sweet sluggy goodness. <laughs> Come to Papa. Um. <laughs> huh? Back in the closet with you? Oh, now where did I leave those sarsaparilla snake knees? <laughs> Squirt, you gonna let a kid's book stop you from swimming? Remember. Face your fear, and your fear will disappear. You're right, Gretchen. From now on, there is no boogeyman. Exactamundo. No! I threw the book out the door last night, and now it's gone! Ah! Somebody probably put it back in the outhouse, where it belongs. And I'm not going to the bathroom for the rest of the summer! <laughs> Come on. A nice cold swim will help chill you out. Squirt! Squirt, you coming? In a sec. <laughs> hey, Squirt, what do you think of Sawyer's new digs? <laughs> Delightful accommodation. Yes, sir. A zombie's home is his castle. <laughs> and a tickly one at that. Let go of my toes, Scratch. <laughs> I'm not touching your toes, Sawyer. Well, if you ain't, then who is? <laughs> <laughs> the Boogeyman! <laughs> Sawyer! Hello, Gretchen. 
Kitchen? Read any good books lately? <laughs> Thanks, Slimes. Squirt Buddy, what's all the screaming? I can barely hear myself tumble. It's the bu 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 The boogeyman? For the last time, pal, there's no such thing as the boogeyman! Oh, man, this is a real I told you so moment, isn't it? Ah! Read it again! Story's all new, but one thing's the same. <laughs> Your friends are going in my stew. Don't worry, Squirt. I'll be back for you. <laughs> Any sign of Sawyer? Nope. But uh, no sign of the boogeyman either. Maybe he'll leave us alone. <laughs> you can fly in a balloon in the sky so blue. But the boogeyman will still get you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we read the book. <laughs> Let's bounce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now let's row, row, row this boat. <laughs> you can fall in a lake and paddle in a canoe, but the boogeyman will still get you. Boogeyman! <laughs> hey. No, 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 no! no. <gasps> oh, you'll never find us in here. You read the same book I did, right? You can hide in a closet or inside a shoe, but the boogeyman will still get you! Never liked this chapter. <laughs> oh, oh, my best buddies need me! I, I can do this! Face your fear and your fear will disappear, scared or not! Here I come! <laughs> you can't escape! <laughs> You'll be my snack! Oh, no, they Wait. won't! I've got their backs! Whoa! Nice plot twist, Squirt! I, I, I did it! <laughs> or maybe not. Squirt, come on! It's time to turn the page! <laughs> <laughs> Smells like monster stew. <gasps> Hang on, guys! We're coming! <laughs> Thanks, campers. The steam was playing havoc with my fur. Meh, but that boogeyman doesn't know from cooking. Mm, but you gotta love that zombie kick. You guys just had to read the end of that book, didn't you? Yeah, we were trying to get you to face your fear. <laughs> <laughs> Stay back! <laughs> no one will save you here. Certainly not Squirt. He can't face his fear. <laughs> face your fear and your fear will disappear. Yo, Pokemon! Yeah. Fall in that pot and we'll make you the stew! <laughs> That's not how the story goes! It is now! I rewrote the ending! Nice one, Squirt! scared by the boogeyman again. Yeah. <laughs> Dear Mom, picking your nose is for amateurs. From now on, I'm all ears. It's happening again! Slimy indigestion! <laughs> Where are you 
going, McGee? Heads up, Cadidos! Entree on the loose! Breakfast are squirming and squatting! Not bad. Could use some ketchup. Hmm, that works too. So, you say Squirt can't hear, huh? What? Uh huh. Look at all that earwax. Glove, glove. Oh, uh, what are you doing, Sonny? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've seen this before. A case of earwax so bad, it filled up the ears and seeped into the brain. I also saw a case of toe jam so bad that it brought its own toe peanut butter. Oh, I just love my new drum set. <laughs> I'd better take extreme measures. Don't worry. I almost graduated from earwax removal night school. What? Earwax removal apparatus. Earwax removal apparatus. Now relax and loosen your eardrum. What? Big <laughs> 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 I can hear! I can... Sneaky! Help. Of course! The noises in my head were just my friend's desperate cries for help! What a relief! Lake Bottom to Squirt! Are you gonna help us get rid of this wax or not? Oh, yeah, 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 sure! How hard can it be to get rid of a giant ball of my own earwax? <laughs> so we don't smell that stuff anymore. We are out of here. Wait! Are we just gonna leave the wax here? You saw how hard it tried to not be gotten rid of, right? <laughs> I, I think my hearing's going again. I... It's me, Squirt. You wax. You can't toss me out like trash, Squirt. I am part of you. You're right. I'll find a way to get my pals to accept you, Earwax. You're coming back with me. Well, bit by bit, because you're kind of big. Nothing like recovering from a long morning of Earwax removal with two lunch specials, Rosebud. <laughs> uh, Rosebud? Hello? Uh, Rosebud? No offense, but you don't look so good. I mean, more than usual. Uh, yeah. Maybe we'll come back for lunch. <laughs> At dinner time! Sawyer! Freak you out, but Rosebud is kind of melting. Sawyer? <laughs> it's happening. The meltdown is happening. We are on Melt Alert One, people. Hey guys, so playing Melt Alert again, huh? Hey, I'd love to join in, but uh, I've been super busy with all my earwax sculpting. Sculptures. Aren't they so realistic? Perfect likeness. If he was trapped in a vat of face-melting toxic goo... I could keep this up all day long. I know you guys wanted me to leave the earwax, but I found a perfect use for it. Check it out. Our very own Lake Bottom Earwax Museum. Look, guys, it's you. Aren't they so lifelike? You could say, I don't need the real thing anymore. <laughs> yeah, well, it's hard to appreciate art when the stank makes you want to barf. Unless it's barf art. Or, or <gasps> wait for it, toenail art. I found a ton of yours in my pillowcase. One of the downsides of being in the bottom bunk. But anyways, they're all yours. So just go ahead, Squirt. Come on, make me proud. Hi. <laughs> Squirt! What is the deal? I was only trying to be a good pal. If you were a good pal, you never would have made me a pain in my earwax. Oh, oh, okay. Well, you know what? Maybe I'll use the toenails and make a sculpture myself. How'd you like that? Huh, Squirt? <laughs> well, Squirt, how'd 
did the statues go over? Are your friends ready to accept Earwax back in the lake bottom? I, I tried to convince them, Earwax, but they just couldn't see the beauty of your Earwaxiness. <laughs> 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 Can't they see we belong together? <laughs> you know, Squirt, there is a way we all can be together forever. I've been looking everywhere for Squirt, and I... <gasps> McGee? What do you think, Gretch? Too literal? Too smelly? <laughs> Either way, it is so much more awesome than earwax art. This is what you were doing while I've been looking under every rock and every bush for squirt? Shh, Gretch. Let me sculpt you. Your hair is the exact same black as the gunk you find under your nails. Oh, come on. At least let me clip some of your cuticles. I run out so fast. Mickey, ice. <laughs> oh. oh, good. <laughs> so nice of you to drop in. But um bum Ching. Oh, it's just not the same. Now, my best friends and my precious earwax will be united together in the ultimate earwax mixture, like so. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Squirt, this is nutty. Um, earwax, is this nutty? Hmm, earwax says it's totally nut free, so there. Earwax, <laughs> you say such sweet things. <laughs> okay, Squirt's gone nuts. Aha! Has everyone gone sculpture nutty? Yeah, nutty like a toenail sculpting squirrel. Check this out. <laughs> Earwax, no! Not the swab! <laughs> I must say, even though I am covered in melted earwax, I'm so impressed at how you campers release your artistic flair. Thanks. Now, how about I release you? No, wait. <laughs> oh, look what you've done to poor earwax. He's half the ball of earwax he used to be. <laughs> <laughs> Effects build up, but this is ridiculous. Run! Hold these. Time to <laughs> nail it in. Really, Minnie? How can you heal sculpt at a time like this? I do my best work with Pants Wedding Terror as my inspiration. <laughs> well, are you all ready to become? Part of the Earwax Collective? Sure, Squirt, why not? Hey, I even made you an earwaxing warming gift. I call it McGee and Squirt, when Squirt isn't trying to melt McGee. Okay, the title needs work, but isn't it beautiful? <laughs> yeah, McGee, it's, it's breath-tokingly beautiful. <laughs> See what I did there? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Totally got it! <laughs> you sure did! Yeah. Uh, I know some puns too. Isn't my wax interesting? <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm in the toenails now. Squirt! Watch out! <laughs> Squirt! No! We'll uh, save you! Uh. Ew! Most disgusting rescue ever! <laughs> Squirt, are you okay, old pal? What? Oh, come on! I can't go through all that again. <laughs> Hello. What's this doing in here? Oh, so that's where that went. So it wasn't the wax taking control over your brain. It was this toilet brush poking your cortex. That makes sense. What's a cortex? Bada boom, ching. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, I can't remember what anything is. <laughs> Dear Mom, it's a real 
real gas here at Camp Lake Bottom. <laughs> Oh, even my blisters have blisters. Gretch, can we stop for a quick snack break, please? Sure. Try my hike trail mix. It's mostly dried nuts and some dried nut shells. It's high in hike protein. <laughs> oh, you can really taste the protein. You want some, Squid? No, thanks. I brought my own. You can really taste the protein. Yeah, time to get a move on. Squirt, the mutant ape stays here. <laughs> Mr. Elephant, are you okay? Poor guy. Probably needs some energy. Oh, really, Gretch? Hasn't that elephant suffered enough? <gasps> A real life circus elephant! Can this day get any better? <laughs> A real live circus elephant with an epic talent for farting? Awesome! Me and this farting elephant were made for each other. Hey, keep your trunk to yourself. Nope. Gretch, it likes Gretch instead of me? Huh. It must have gotten knocked in the head from the crash. Ah, uh, still no. If there's anyone who's supposed to be friend of Farting Circus Elephant, it's me. So let go. <laughs> <laughs> He's called Floppy. What a great showbiz name. Shouldn't we at least try to find Floppy's owner? I guess so. But I can't stand to think of this majestic beast being forced to perform in a circus. <gasps> oh, uh... <laughs> <laughs> What's that strange sound coming out of Gretchen's face? No one ever finds out about the delightful giggling. Look at me. <laughs> we should probably take him back to Lake Bottom, where it's safe. <laughs> or, you know, safe is a relative term. <laughs> <laughs> Lima bean casserole had enough bean boost to get airborne. <laughs> One flying zombie coming up. Ah, <laughs> nothing. Ah. <laughs> I called some contacts from my old carny days, but no one's heard of any missing elephant. Two shaved orangutans and a bearded lady, but no elephant. I know how to cook the elephant, not how to feed them. We could save a lot of effort if I fix us all a nice plate of the tonk schnitzel. <sighs> save yourself, Floppy. <sighs> Run like the wind that you constantly pass. <gasps> <laughs> no one is claiming Floppy, so that means we can keep him? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> you know, whatevs. There's no greater love than between an elephant and the one who cleans up after it. Um, I, I think you're gonna need a bigger shovel. Floppy, it's all set. I got your new identity and safe passage out of here. We gotta go now. Huh? <laughs> okay, maybe just one more night. <laughs> Commence mission! Come! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Camp Lake Bottom had such bad reception for evil schemes. <laughs> I still do not get how a farting elephant isn't my bestie. <laughs>
if you think that was good, then hang on to your funny bones, campers. Because this next act is a real killer. Do this. Get off my face. Ha ha. I see you've already met my flatulating operational pachyderm, otherwise known as Floppy. Um, wouldn't that just spell fop? Not floppy? You! Okay! So the name's not great. You try finding the perfect handle for a farting elephant. Are you kidding me? There's Toots Magoots, uh, Baron Butt Burper, Captain Colon, Trunk Fun. Enough! I get it. Besides, it's time to explain my evil scheme. After staging a fake circus truck crash, I planted my farting warrior elephant for you to discover and fall in love with. Oh, so that's why I'm not Floppy's favorite. I knew it. Evil scheme animals are never my besties. Floppy? Is what he's saying true? This was all an evil scheme? <laughs> With Floppy by my side, I've already taken over Lake Bottom. You'll never get away with this. Wrong! Clowns plan out every little detail. You should have seen my intense fart animal warrior training. Finally, I'd found Floppy, the perfect pachyderm weapon. Too bad he's too dumb to perfect the ultimate secret fart command. Don't you ever call Floppy dumb! <laughs> Point. That elephant made a total moron out of me. I should have never trusted a farting elephant. <laughs> Time for your grand finale! Hey, Gretch, heads up! <laughs> well, now you know how I feel! Hey! Enough clowning around! And I don't mean that in a clown positive way. Get rid of these campers! Now! Detail. Oh well, I guess you never send in an elephant to do a clown's funny business! <laughs> yes! You did it, Floppy! You're free from Doofus's control! Free as a bird, Floppy! Free as a bird! <laughs> wow, that is one literal elephant. The secret ultimate fort command! Though he could do it all along! I just meant that he should run away. <laughs> oh, I love you, you big stinky intestinal gas filled evil scheme foiling farting elephant! <laughs> Dear Mom, 
They say camp changes you. It sure gone to my buddy Squirt's head. All hail leeches! One thousand three! One thousand four! You call that a push-up? Zombies go till their arms fall off! <laughs> See? Uh, I can't even feel my arms. Ah, it's not so bad. Right, Squirt? Right, McGee? <laughs> hey, everybody. Check out my awesome backflip. Yeah. Noticing you've been getting Squirt to do all your hard work lately. And I can't help noticing we need a new speedboat. Let's go, Squirt. Time for you to power wash the cabin. Slick new hairdo, Squirt. Thanks, Greg. I will rule the world. Well, it doesn't look that good. Hey, everybody! Check out my awesome backhand! like gum, but now I want it bad! Uh, hey, sis. Why are you chewing old gum off my bunk? You gotta help me, baby Brub Brub. Butt Squat banned gum at Camp Sunny Smiles! That's harsh, even for Butt Squat. I can't stand to see my sister suffer like... I can. Out of the way, McGee. Your sister and I have business. Tell you what, Susie, I'll trade you this fresh, mouth-watering gum for your sunny smile pageant crown. Never! <laughs> okay! Give me that! Oh, sweet chewy bliss. <laughs> Seems pathetic humans will do anything for this chewable matter. Yeah, and that's how I'm gonna get a new speedboat! Squirt! We're going into the gum business! Indeed. <laughs> this bubblegum comic will be my masterpiece. Now, how do you spell... The gum needs another sack of sugar. You heard Rosebud. More sugar. Sure thing, McGee. No, pathetic human. What makes you think I will do your bidding? Fine, I'll get the sugar. <laughs> Stop! That salt, you fool! Remove it from my sight. I'll get the sugar myself. <laughs> Oh, this gum is unbelievable. Now all we have to do is trade it for Camp Sunny Smile's speedboat. You needn't bother your pea brain, human. My gum, my trade. There's something different about you, Squirt. Perhaps a new cologne? Leeches shall rule the earth! Oh, I hope they sell it by the bucket. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, how come I'm pulling the wagon? Oh, sorry, McGee. Get used to manual labor, human. There's a new big brain at Lake Bottom. You know, this new you suits you, Squirt. Doesn't suit me. Hey, Brub Brub. I presume you have the merchandise? Yeah, yeah, we brought the rocket boat. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. With this, I will make the world bow before me. Before or after we go water skiing? Water skiing's the losers. <laughs> the rocket boat. You humans are no longer useful. Is it me or does Squirt have a totally evil leech attached to his head? You think? Step away from the gum and disperse my serve, McGee! Rich, why don't you show Butt Squad how you won the Judo Jamboree? Rescue my rocket boat from that slimy slug. Um. I mean, let's go rescue Squirt from that slimy slug. <laughs> Poo! Poo, my monster minions! The leech empire commands you! Yes, my squishy leech overlord. <laughs> yes! Now my rocket boat is a boat rocket! And with it, I shall drop leeches onto every pathetic human in the world! Then, I will rule the planet! All hail leeches! He turned my boat rocket into a rocket boat? That's totally cool! But also evil! That's what you're getting from this? Eh, pretty much. Oh, my monster minions! The leech empire commands you! Leeches hate salt? Perfect! Here's the plan. One of us fills the rocket with salt. So when the leeches slither on board, it dries them up. The other one creates a distraction. Like what? Like this. Hey, slime brain, over here! <laughs> I want my buddy back! <laughs> Probably should have practiced that move. You'll have eternity to practice now that you're caught in my impenetrable bubblegum trap! <laughs> All hail leeches! <laughs> That's what you get for challenging the brain-sucking power of leeches! And once we've latched on every head in the world, we shall be the boss of everyone! Astro leeches, slither forth, and the world will be ours! <laughs> Nothing can stop us now! I'm back! Except maybe Butt Squad in a helicopter with a tennis ball gun. McGee, I'm gonna chew up your gun factory and spit it out! Plan. Too late, Butt Squad! Our whole gum supply is on that rocket, heading straight for Camp Sunny Smiles! Not on my watch! Sorry, Cracks! This will totally work! I think. Ah! 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 Yes! My leeches! Salt? Ah, oh, come on! Slime drying out, leech brain shrinking. We will have revenge. One last bubble to burst. Congrats! Revenge. What happened?
happened, guys? Oh, we just saved the camp, saved the world, and saved my bestest buddy. But we still don't have a speedboat. Hmm. Yeah. Who needs a speedboat when you got the world's biggest supply of used gum? <laughs> Should have thought that through. gets harder every day. We send a chisel. We got it! Stage one complete! The Sunny Smiles flag is ours! <laughs> Upside down. Nice touch. Now for stage two! Then your posts. <laughs> Operation Get Flag Back from McLamish McGee is a go! This time they went too far! What's wrong, Bud Splat? Someone turn your frown right side down? Very funny, McGee. Let's see how you like it when I take. Um. Fuck. This in your face! Now I have your precious little ceramic guy thing. Oh, no! Not our garden gnome! Ha 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 ha! squat away. <laughs> Rosebud's gonna be mad. She's crazy about gnomes. Nah, she'll be fine. It's no big deal. <laughs> I'm taking requests. Ah! What are you making us eat today? I smell subatomic chili bloppers. Or that could just be me decaying. Three second rule. Don't these usually come with a note tied to them? Oh, man! Don't look at me! Don't look at me! Hey, look, a note! Return the sunny smiles flag or your gnome shall be no more. So, original butt squat. <laughs> That missing gnome will doom us all! Oh, come on, Rosebud. Like a garden gnome could doom anything. <laughs> I spoke too soon again, didn't I? Yup. This is a takeover! A talking gnome. Why am I not surprised? Well then, how about this for a surprise? I'm surprised. When you address me, you will refer to me by my proper rank, Papa Gnome. <laughs> Do you hear me? Can I just call you Pops? Oh, this is funny to you. Well, I've got one for you, funny man. One of my guards was gnome napped. And I think you are going to tell me everything you know. Or else. Or else what? I know where your friend is, and I can get him back. No problem. Mm, fine, but I'm keeping your counselors here as insurance. You have until sunset to get my gnome, or else. Or else. Fuck. Or else. Ah! I just realized I left the water running in my tub. All right, you. I'm the talk. How did McGee get past our perimeter? Was it an inside job? An outside job? An after-school job with occasional weekend shifts? I get it. They didn't tell you anything. You're a lone wolf. An outsider. Just like me. 
Yeah, we're a lot alike, you and I. Oh, I've got plans for you. Okay, team, we're going in. Let's get that gnome for our counselors! For our counselors! Those flamingos are tricky. Flag. Now know me. We got a new flag. What do you think, Barry? My thoughts exactly. Barry says if you want him back, you'll have to sing the Sunny Smile song on camera. <sighs> okay, fine. Andy says you'll have to do it while dancing. Fine. Wearing this. No way. McGee, the sunset. <laughs> Get ready for your close-up, Mickey! <sighs> hey, kids! It's fun time, it's fun time, so this fun time we try! Give sunny smiles! <laughs> fun, 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 and sunny smiles! Did we mention it was fun? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, McGee. Yeah, hilarious. I did what you wanted, Butt Squad. Now know me. Ha! No deal, McGee. Ow! Oh. Change my mind. Gotta go. <laughs> you can keep the costumes. I'll get Butt Squad. You guys head back to camp and stall those gnomes. <laughs> A little help here. Thank you. <laughs> 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 are running out of time. Guess what happens if they aren't back with my gnome guard by sunset? Yeah, yeah, we get it, you cranky. <gasps> Hands up, our counselors! Take it, squirt. <laughs> nice try, soldiers. But time's almost up. Ten, nine, that gnome is coming with me! Barry doesn't want to go with you! Seven! That gnome is coming home one way or another! Six! Five! Four! Three! Two! One! Your friend failed his mission! Looks like we'll have some new statues for the garden. Planned it. Say night, night, Mr. Sunshine. No! <laughs> well, well, well. You'll have a friend army! Hey! Drop those gnomes, Buttshaw! 
Solar Boy. Whoa! <laughs> Great! The worst moment of my life is now preserved forever. Hey, Sunshine, your vid's gone viral. Ten million hits. You're famous! Really? Well, in that case, we better give the fans what they want. <laughs> hey, kids! It's fun time in sun time, but there were only two hits. Yeah, I know. This one's for me. And it was Incoming! Dear Mom, in some countries, getting bird poop on you is good luck. I guess I'm one lucky guy. Let's go, campers! It's not gonna shake itself! I don't know, Sawyer. I don't think this is gonna work. See? Fish batch of bird poop. Yes. There's more on me than in that basket. Oh, I'd give anything for a poop-proof sweater. Please tell me this isn't for Rosebud's pancake mix. This poop's not for eating, you silly. It's for the most splendiferous monumental monster holiday ever. <laughs> it's Doo-Doo Day! It comes from above in a flourish of the most joyous and gruesome of all get together. It's Doo-Doo Day! It's Doo-Doo Day! It's the fall! That doo-doo day? As in doo-doo? It's whatever you want it to be. I choose to believe it's doo-doo as in the glorious hairdo of the magical permadactyl. The perma-what? Oh, the great permadactyl flies down from the sky. If we show our gratitude and if we make her feel welcome. And but her hops at Wazoo's compliments. Then she rewards every monster with special eggs containing the best presents ever. Presents? I'm in! Hold your hoofskies! We never had campers for Doodoo Day before. You must respect our traditions. What? Me? Not respectful? Come on! No one is a bigger respecter of presents, I mean traditions, than me. Right, guys? Please? <laughs> please? <laughs> Pretty please? Oh, fine. You can join us for the celebration. Yeah! We're getting presents! We're getting presents! I'm afraid I make a huge mistake. Ah, uh, you think? Nothing is better than presents! High five! Yeah! Now that's the do do don't. Funny. Real funny. Permadeckle's gonna love our traditional do do day next. More hay, please! Huh, it's good. But you know what would make it great? What, more help? Nope, more everything. <laughs> it's nice seeing a camper full of the doo-doo day spirit. Oh, he's full of it all right. Whoa, now that's a doo-doo day nest. Hey, Armand, need a hand? No, thank you, McGee. The permadactyl's runway carpet is complete. Hmm, or is it? After all, a runway needs landing lights. <sighs> Shoo, shoo, you pesky plane! This is for the permadactyl! Does this doo-doo day garland have enough belly button lint? When it comes to the holidays, enough is never enough. <laughs> Innie, outie, <laughs> Innie, outie, oh, yay, outie! Nothing too good for presents. I mean, the permadactyl. Can I get a yay? Yay! <laughs> wow, you guys should try this! Barf. These eggs are rotten. And this cream is curdled. Perfect for the traditional egg bog. Hmm. This egg bog is not revolting enough. Keep peddling. Heck yeah. Bump repeaters. <laughs> Gross stuff and presents. Oh, this holiday is awesome. Oh, yeah. You're the king of doo doo, all right. <laughs> <laughs> We need more hair for the traditional doo-doo day doo-doo wigs. No problemo. Hmm. No way. Oh, come on, guys. Where's your doo-doo day spirit? Dead. Now sleep. How can you sleep? It's time to hang our doo-doo day stinky meat socks. Ew! See, I covered mine in blue cheese and left it out in the sun all day. 
Happy Doo-Doo Day Eve, guys. Doo-Doo Day. Socks full of flies. That's good, I think. Happy Doo Doo Day, everyone! Happy Doo Doo Day, McGee! What he said. Happy Doo Doo Day, campers! Dr. Wigs for all! Not gonna happen. But, Gretch, you have to, or we won't get our amazing presents! Is that why you're being such a Doo Doo Day ding dong? Presents? No, maybe. Mostly. Aw, oh, come on, Gretchen, just put on the wig, please! Move it! Doo Doo Day waits for no one! As the doo doos do. Cause it's doo doo day, it's doo doo day, it's the foul family poo day. Uh, it's him! Or her! Or it? Nope. Nope. There! There she is! Happy doo doo day, Permadactyl! Bring on the prezzies! Remember, campus, you must flatter the Permadactyl! Your mullet is magnificent. I made your favorite egg bog and cookies with extra maggots. <coughs> Isn't he absolutely majestic? Well, that vest is pretty rad. <laughs> Permadactyl, I totally get why it's called Doo Doo Day. Because that hairdo is Doo Doo Awesome! <laughs> A pony with a sharp forehead. What every Sasquatch dreams of. Huh, you designer zombie wear. It will be like cooking for the gods. Dreams can come true. Ah, baby, time to get what I always wished for. Best present ever? What's this? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Sorry, he's a human. He doesn't know what he's saying. Does this look like a bite to you? Quiet! This is the lamest gift ever! There, there, permadactyls. No need to get hot under the collar. Who would want to be caught in a nerd catcher like this? Okie dokie. Time to run! Oh, so the bird took off. What's the big deal? The big deal is you have doomed us all! Huh? That cuckoo has wiped out entire suburbs for less than what you just did. Taken out? How? I think we're about to find out. Take cover, camper! The trench isn't ready! I just had my fur dry cleaned. Piggy, <laughs> stop! The permadactyl's after you! Anyone close to you is going down! Sorry, Gretz! No! Get down! out of the Gretchen! Ew! Well, at least it's not a flying elephant. It comes from above in a flourish of feathers. The most joyous and gruesome of all get together. No! Squirt, get out of there! Leave my friends alone, you flea-bitten bag of feathers! Ah! I hate it when Gretchen's right. <laughs> Way to go, McGee. It's poop Mageddon out there, thanks to you. It's not my fault that bird blew its tail feathers. Actually, it's totally your fault. Okay, I wanted the best present ever. It's all I could think about. Is that so wrong? Yes. yes. I'm sorry, guys. I put you all in danger and ruined Doo Doo Day. You forgot about being a selfish, bossy dumbbat. Oh, yeah, how could I forget that? I'm gonna fix this. Somehow. <laughs> It's too late! The permodactyl's gonna take out the whole camp just to get at you! Run for it! No! My friends had nothing to do with this! I'm the one you want! Hey, Permy! Come and get me! Go, go, go! Oh. Yes! <laughs> oh, wait! I'm wearing my wonderful sweater! See? No more 
running. I deserve this! For friends, for camp, for everything. Thanks for the present! It's a doo-doo-day miracle! Hey, this is the poop-proof sweater I asked for! Awesome! I get doo-doo day now. It isn't about the presents. It's about being grateful. Sorry, guys, for all the trouble I've caused. Thank you, Permadactyl! This is the best gift ever! It comes from above and it flourishes the best. It's the most joyous and gruesome of all the together. It's do do day! It's do do day! It's the Fowl Family Food Day! That. This is the part of the holidays I like. Yep, and I can't wait for next year! Whoops! Mom, playing horseshoes is fun, but it's a lot easier when the horse isn't wearing them. One last toss till total butt slob humiliation. One's all I need to crush you, Magoon. I hope you enjoy losing, McGee. Butt squad, butt squad, he's the man. If he can't do it, you, McGee, can. Final round of the zipline horseshoe playoffs. Who will win a trip to the fabulous prize shed? Pick a prize. Any prize. Like these false teeth. Ow! A little help here! Yeah! Oh. Out of the way, loser. Whoa! Blow, blow! Here's another one. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have done it without you, butt slop. Choose anything you want, camper. <laughs> nope. Ew. And no. Whoa! I picked this! Ew! Uh, a moldy horse head? That's gross, even for Lake Bottom. Lake Bottom's got way grosser stuff than that. Come on, Suze. I don't need their stinky lame prizes. I've got a case full of real trophies. Yeah? But none of those trophies is a moldy horse head! Yeah! I'm okay. I like your trophy, McGee, even if it stinks. It doesn't stink. <laughs> Lunch time! Come get your boiled skunk! Oh, yo! Oh, stinky! Oh. Huh? <laughs> Where am I? This isn't the shed. I gotta hide! It talks? My trophy just went from awesome to fans awesome amazing I'm a trophy? Oh, yeah! I picked you. I'm McGee. Well, color me flattered. Phlebas gets the name. After hanging around so long, you must be starving. Food! I'm starving! That might explain the whole starving thing. That might explain the whole stinking thing, too. <laughs> Children playing with a mutilated horse head is a beautiful thing. Disgusting, but at the same time, adorable. Hey, McGee, look at all my awesome, gorgeous, expensive trophies! <laughs> <laughs> my lame, pathetic, worthless trophies. That moldy horse head is repulsive, disgusting, stinky, and it will be mine! I brought you some Betty Bye tea. Thanks, Squirt. Mmm, this really hits the spot. You mean it really hits the floor. Come on, time to hit the sack. Night, Night Fleet Biscuit. Biscuit. Night, campers. You're the best trophy ever. Thanks for picking me, McGee. <laughs> I was afraid this would happen. McGee, wake up! It's coming! No, Rosebud, I didn't eat the couch. It was squirt. Flea <laughs> <laughs> Biscuit, where are you going? I don't know. I gotta get away. Listen, reindeer, do you think it's Santa? It's too late. We've gotta hide. Hurry! 
what do you think? <laughs> sure ain't Santa. I've been a good boy this year. Is that? Flea Biscuit's body? <laughs> it's found me. About. What was I thinking? Of course it would find me. I'm doomed! <gasps> Your body is very talented. No, it's not. I can't go back, McGee. You don't know the awful things it'll make me do. <laughs> Easy, pal. He's got to go through us first. That's what I'm afraid of. If my body can't have me, it'll take another head instead. <gasps> but I use my head for many head-like things. Okay, if he wants a head, we'll give him one. What? Places, everyone, this is not a rehearsal. All right, Armand, action! I shall give the performance of a lifetime, much as I did as shrub number three in my elementary school's production of Sally Salamander's horrifying tale, Shills in Shrub Town. Nay! 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 Here it comes! <laughs> ah, bonjour. Welcome to Lake Bottom's House of Heads. What every pretty pony is wearing this spring. Pure pumpkin perfection. See? What did I tell you? Of course. And no pumpkin for Monsieur. Ah, the pocket look. So you. Gelatin. Fashionable and delicious. Mwah. I think he's buying it. <laughs> Your hooves, horse meat! <laughs> this isn't working, McGee. You have to let it take me. Listen to the horse. <laughs> Not a little nice, Parshi. No, no! It's happening! I can't look! <laughs> Everyone stay cool. My head comes off all the time. Ah, mine doesn't! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, guys. My body will show your bodies the ropes. Lesson one, stay out of the lake. See, there's no choice, McGee. You've got to give me up. No, there's still a chance. <laughs> uh, maybe you're right. Sorry, Flea Biscuit. OK, horse, your head is all yours. <laughs> you mean, oh, mine. Good luck with the back end, bottom losers. <laughs> Easy, horsey. Let's not lose our heads over this. <laughs> Ah! Ah! Come back here with those heads! You don't know what you're dealing with, kid. You better bring me back. Stop it, horsehead. Hey, Suze, I got McGee's weird, smelly horse trophy. Took you long enough. Ow! Why did you want it again? Oh, phew, this thing does stink. Bye-bye, horsey. Wow! Uh-oh. Ah! Wait, did you get me a pony? <laughs> I don't have your smelly old head anymore. <laughs> no offense. Ew! You did not just put me with the gross zombie and the stinky hairball. Hello? Can I be upgraded to first class? Look, princess, it's no treat being saddled with you either. Get your ear out of my face! We're too late! The body got here first! McGee! Flea Biscuit! My body has struck again. We've got to stop it. Oh, we'll stop it, all right. Your body forgot one thing. Two heads are better than none. Oh, horsey! You can't get me, horsey! <laughs> Maybe we could settle this over a shiny red apple? Hey, wait, Brett! Why don't you come play horseshoes with me? <sighs> Here, horsey, horsey. Hi! This is all my fault. Your friends are losing their heads because of me. Don't worry, Flea Biscuit. We're taking them back. Together. <laughs> Any time now. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Lean forward, McGee. Dig in your heels. a boy. This is worse than the Barfinator at Ride World. Hold on, McGee! Whoa! 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 See? Evil. <laughs> 
Would you stop it, horse? I'm trying to give you back your head. Yeah, there, there. I know it's scary without a head. Just ask Butt Squat. I may not have a body, but I still have ears. Steady, boy, don't be afraid. A head needs his horse. I mean, a horse needs his head. Oh, no! Here it comes! Here it comes! This might not have been such a good idea. Well, you might be right, Gretch. <laughs> <laughs> good job, McGee. That was using your head. You know what they say. You gotta use it or lose it. Oh, no! Not this! Anything but this! McGee! It's so horrible, I can't even look! My body wants me to tap dance, and it's a terrible dancer! This is why you were so scared? Come on! Actually, he's pretty good. Yeah, check it out! You rock! Hey, what do you know? My body's been practicing while I was gone! I am good! Hello! Still waiting! Rehead us and make it snappy! Oh, let's go. I have a splitting headache. That's odd, Susie. I always thought of you as more a pain in the neck. You can keep your loser trophy, McGee. So long, bottom dweebers. <laughs> you want to tell them? Ah, uh, let them figure it out. Big finish, Flea Biscuit! <laughs>